Hebele. You are director of a Swiss Institute, research institute called SBF, Institute for Solar Technology. And one of the focus areas in your institute is PVT, which stands for a combined product which has photovoltaic and solar thermal. Can you explain this a bit closer? Sure, thank you for the opportunity. Um, if you look at standard PV modules, they convert sunlight to electricity with an efficiency of, let's say, 15%. So 15% of the energy in the sunlight is transferred to electricity. The rest, 85%, is not usable. 10% of that energy is reflected back to the, um, to the sun, if you want. Um, but then there's 75% which is transferred to heat. And in module, this heat is just not useful heat. Now the idea is make use of that heat and attach heat exchangers to a module, make use of the otherwise lost heat. 75% of the total of the incoming rays. Is this an idea of research, or can you buy products which do this kind of nice combination? That's a good question. I mean, it is, an, it is a research topic, but we just recently completed a study, a market study, and we were astonished to find 53, if I'm not mistaken, companies working on that, offering products to the market already. 53 companies, that's something. So what is it used for? What do you think? Um, only in Switzerland, we have 300 projects with PVT collectors. You wouldn't believe that. 300 projects. And the most, in, in, in terms of numbers, um, the most applications are similar to water heaters. You, you do preheating of domestic water, also of space heating. And additionally, you have electricity as a product. Um, in terms of uh, size of the projects, it is a ground source, the regeneration of ground source um, boreholes that are used as a heat source for heat pumps. The regeneration of the ground, that's the most, um, let's say, in terms of size of the project, the, the biggest application. So that means the, the heat which I generate from this PVT system is not enough to shower directly, but I have to sometimes uh, increase it by a heat pump, or what is the issue? Um, you, you, you can put it in that terms, yes. Um, it is advantages for the whole system if the, te if the temperature of the heat is as low as possible because then the PV modules perform better. So make use of low temperature heat and there, there the, the regeneration of boreholes is an ideal application. If I do a preheating of, of uh, domestic hot water, um, I can get to higher temperatures, but then I suffer in efficiency. You are a research institute, you are not selling PVT products, so what is your interest in that? Are you working with others uh, regarding this issue? No, it's exactly this point also. We want, if we want to have a PVT collector uh, that also works at higher temperatures, we have to think the, 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 the topic and the, the issue for really from, from the beginning and develop it and not only use a module and attach, attach a heat exchanger to it, but really mm -hmm. develop the product as a whole from the beginning. And if we want to have higher temperatures, we need to reduce heat losses to the ambient. But that means that in the solar world, solar thermal world, we know that stagnation temperature, terms where we don't use heat, means that the module gets to very high temperatures. And that can be, that's a tricky thing because modules that are heated to more than 100 or 120 or 150 degrees, they will probably not survive that. So we need to find solutions to prevent these high stagnation temperatures, but still have a high efficiency at, let's say, 60, 70 degrees. And that's uh, tricky, that's research. But I could imagine that it's mostly a space uh, issue. I mean, if I have a limited roof space and I want to have electricity and heat produced, is this the main uh, motivation of clients to do PVT? <laughs> um, yeah, in, in the end, you, you do have a competition for the space. Mm -hmm. That's true. And you can also see it from the, uh, from the point of view, you want solar heat and you just get electricity on top. Or the other way around, you want solar electricity, you get heat on top. And that's just uh, a wonderful thing to do. Excellent. Good luck with your work. Thank you very much.